In the last video, we looked at splitting up documents into sections and paragraphs. In this video, we're going to be looking at adding basic math symbols and equations into our documents. Before you start writing mathematical content in LaTeX, we recommend you load up the AMS Math package. This will give you more options when writing more complicated mathematical documents. To do this, simply use the use package command and enter AMS Math into the brackets. To simply write maths in line with the text you are writing, enclose your mathematical content in dollar signs. Share LaTeX will colour code content in dollar signs in green so you can easily identify your inline mathematics. To write something in superscript, follow your number or symbol by a caret and then enter the number or symbol you want in the superscript into curly brackets. To write something in subscript, it's the same process, except we use an underscore instead of a caret. Greek letters are very easy to add in LaTeX. Each letter of the Greek alphabet has a corresponding command, which is just a backslash followed by the name of the Greek letter in English. If you want to capitalise them, simply start the command with a capital letter. Pretty much any mathematical function you can think of has a LaTeX command to typeset it. There are numerous lists of these online, so I will just introduce a few of them to you now. Firstly, trig functions look like this. The square root function like this. Fractions can be easily entered using the frac command. And there are also numerous functions for writing algebraic statements like this subset command. Often you don't want to write mathematics in line with the text, particularly if you are writing more complex equations. Therefore, to write an equation or formula on a new line, you can use the begin equation structure. Here's an example of this structure implementing a basic polynomial and an example demonstrating a summation symbol. You will notice that LaTeX has automatically numbered these equations and printed their corresponding numbers in brackets on the right hand side of the page. If you don't want your equation to be numbered, you can add an asterisk immediately after the word equation in both the begin and end commands. Here's an example using a definite integral. This concludes our discussion on mathematics in LaTeX. In the next video, we'll look at inserting images into our documents.